Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to ARO. This was the play of the day today in the Stock Swish room, and really just hammered it and had a good exit on it and could have stayed in it all day. I mean, actually, looking here where it rallied, 895. It's unbelievable. Wow. I couldn't even get over nine dollars here. I'm just seeing this now, even in the afternoon. Look at that. So I had this move this morning, and I had a good exit on it, and didn't get this last part here. But I mean, I had a beautiful entry, beautiful trade. And ultimately, you know, when I first looked at this in the morning, I said, "Ah, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to rate this." And then I was looking, and there wasn't really anything else. I said, "You know what? I think I am going to rate this." And I went and rated it, and it rated 20 points. So I decided to do it. Lots of people were looking at this as an office gap today to buy, which really is essentially looking to do something in the reverse direction of the trend. Of course, I don't do that, and that is the incorrect thing to do. And here's another great example why it is so important to be able to read trends and charts. To number one, read trends and charts, and also read gaps correctly. Because I know there are different types of gaps that people do. But as far as I'm concerned, there really only is one type of gap. It is a gap that corrects a chart or continues a chart trend. That's it. There is nothing else. These ideas of gap fills, and really, I'm you know thinking about it now, a novice gap is a gap fill. It's taking a gap to do it on a gap fill in the opposite direction of the trend, and it makes no sense, and it's the incorrect thing to do, and it's just flat out wrong, and it's just not right. And the danger is, like today, if you try to keep buying this today, thinking it's a novice gap or it's going to fill the gap or do something because it's been running down now for the last like you know 15 days, you got stopped out like 50 times today trying to buy this thing and it kept getting sold off. This was a brand new gap today, a serious gap today, and had nowhere to go but down. And I played it aggressively on the short side in the morning, and this was my day here. This was my day here. This ARO. It was. It's, it was a good week actually. Um, but the beautiful thing about this ARO is that it really defines understanding reading trends right and gaps right. Two things. Like if you're reading the trend and you think that there's no way this could possibly go any lower, that this is bottoming out in here, what it, what it did today, you would think to buy it. And if you don't understand gaps or think that gap fills are something to do, which they're not, you would think to buy it. And it got sold off all day. It I, it did not even get over $9 after it broke down this morning. And it couldn't even rally with the rally. The market rallied into the close. The market rallied hard into the close. And this could not even do anything near, near a pithy rally into the close. And actually, the target on this really was here. It was 834. No, 872. 872. It did get down there. Actually, it broke that. 834. Look at that. Boy, so really proud of myself today for her rating this gap. And I got the rating, so I did it. It was 20 points. And I decided to do it. 7,000 days down, but I rated the gap. <laughs> rated 20 points. I watched it, and I did it. This was my whole day. So, you know. I really do need to live in my own world with trading. I really just have to do that. If I talk to other room moderators or other people, I would not have the read I do on things as correct as I do. I really am the only one doing this kind of stuff. There's nobody but me that's shortened a thing like this aggressively. That's how many days down is this now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 days down. Close last night $11. Gap down $2. 16 days down. And I shorted it aggressively today. This is, this is, I had a great day in this. This is my whole day. <laughs> really. So much more to understanding gaps than meets the eye. So much more to understanding trends than meets the eye, too. There is no such thing as a 
triple bottom reversal, double bottom reversal type of thing in a trend of a stock. If the stock is down, it's in a downtrend. The stock is in a downtrend. And the interesting thing is here that people probably thought this stock was not in a downtrend here. Why? Because it made a higher high here. It actually gapped up. This is actually a bullish gap over resistance. I see it. Is it a corrective gap in the chart? No. No. Here. No. No, I really think it's here. This thing is so damaged. There's a low on this over here, 792. Oh no, it could go even further. This could go anywhere it wants to now. <laughs> Look. Go to five dollars. Swing train the hair though, if you held it overnight, is to eight. There was actually new selling that was going on in this though today. I felt it when I was in the stock. And when I went back and watched a trade this afternoon, how it, how it kept breaking. Uh, and just couldn't get a lift at all with the market. There, this was new selling today. Very interesting. When you see something that is brand new selling or brand new buying, you can't be against that. That's why you really have to understand what you're doing. I think you really got to understand what you're doing in your trade, anyways. Uh, but you know, this kind of thing. I just when I make decisions like this and do it and take the trades and it works so well. I really, it just gives me more conviction in my own rating system. Actually, this type of gap today and me hitting this you know, nailing it gives me a lot of conviction in number one, my own rating system and number two, my own ability to be able to read trends. And I've really got it. I've really got it down. So congratulations to me for doing this today and topping off a really good week. Some interesting gaps this week that you would think weren't going to work and did. And I got them all. So really. It's time for people to learn how to trade right. I, I don't know why people go on for years and years and years not knowing stuff and continuing to do the same type of thing and losing. I, I don't know why. I don't know why people do that. Uh, if you're not doing something that's paying you trading, then you just got to learn something new. And I'm telling you, this stuff that I'm doing, it works over and over and over and over and over again. And it's really the rating system. The rating system told me this was a good gap today. And even I eyeballed it this morning and said, do I really want to do that? I rated it. I said, I'm going to have to watch it. And there it is. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. It is Friday night. Have a great weekend, everyone. Nice trading week this week. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you'd like to learn how to trade gaps with me, uh, you can email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. The next class is September 14th and 15th. And the trends class is next week. It's Tuesday and Wednesday. If anybody wants to learn how to read trends too. So important to understand that this this one here, that this didn't do anything here. Very, very important. So have a great weekend, everybody. This is ARO. This is the Stock Swiss Show play of the day, gap of the day. Beautiful, 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 beautiful move. Look at that. Have a great weekend, everybody.